Not a usual day for the London Broncos. Soldiers from 2-2 Engineer Regiment are challenging the rugby league team on a two-day military exercise, designed to test them mentally and physically. The players have no idea of what's to come. They'll be introduced to military physical training methods, basic field craft and survivability. And what do you know? Absolutely nothing. I think uh, all the lads are a bit nervous because it's just like the unknown really. They're hardcore, aren't they, the army lot, so it'd be good to test ourselves and see what they're doing. It'd be enlightening really to see like live like a two days in their lives type of thing, so it'd be good. First up, drill practice, which as the team found out, isn't as easy as the army makes it look. By the front, quick, march, left, go. <laughs> Uh, judging by their faces, 90% of them are enjoying it. I said, but they get the odd one or two that are thinking, oh, what am I doing here? But by the end of it, they'll be good. How do you reckon they did with the, um, I saw them doing the drill training earlier? Uh, well, B being a senior drill instructor, um, I don't think they grasped it too well, but uh, they put the heart and soul into it. So, you know, it's a bit of fun for them at the end of the day. It's pre-season for the Broncos, with their first friendly later this month against Doncaster. So peak fitness is a necessity. Next up, time for the Army's basic fitness test. How are you finding this, Matty? Yeah, it's all right so far. I'm going to keep me talking all the way through this. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, not too bad so far. They'll probably get me in a minute. Can you feel the burn coming in yet? Yeah, slightly. Are you enjoying me talking to you? No, it's all right. It was a little bit tough, considering we had press-ups this morning as well. So, uh, yeah, it was a bit longer than we used to, and obviously a lot of, a lot of our stuff is explosive, so doing a long sort of two minutes is long for us in terms of doing that sort of thing but yeah it was all good so it's been a, an eventful day so far you did drill to start with how did you find that yeah it was a lot tougher than it looks uh just listening to the commands as well when they're shouting it's kind of hard to get used to what they're saying but um yeah it was a good experience the team were recently promoted to rugby league's top tier the super league yeah so obviously with going up to super league things are going to be stepped stepped up an, another notch uh there's going to be no I wouldn't say easy games. Uh, I wouldn't say there was easy games in the championship. It was a very tough competition, but week in, week out, it was almost like a grand final feel for us this year. Uh, we're going to have to work very hard to, to fight for them wins. So uh, it's them times when you're you know, 60 minutes in and it's tough, where you think back to these times where they could certainly help you, put you in the right frame of mind to put, you know, do the next job or put the right foot forward or be positive in them situations. The players are currently training almost every day, but how are they faring under the army's standards? Um, I think they're doing. I think they're doing really well. I think there's a lot of smiles for now. <laughs> um, I think this morning when they got here, there was a lot of apprehension, a lot of nerves. Um, quite a few lads had done military star camps before. Um, we turned them up, asked a few questions, and uh, they, they seem, you know, it's more of the unknown. I think from from the uh, from the lads than. than you know, we've kept everything secret from them, so uh, you know all the, the plans and everything's been sent out. But the, the players themselves have not been told anything that's happening over the next two days. So it's literally all on the all on the fly for them. So they've taken on the army's physical challenges, but of course they need to look the part. The players were each given uniform and a lesson in field craft and survival tactics. And so you're all, you know, you look like a soldier now. You have got your, your uniform on, your your face is all done. How's it feeling? Yeah, it makes things a little bit more real, I guess. Uh, everything's massive uh, and doesn't fit, but yeah, it's good. It's nice to sort of get, it, get into it properly. And is there any skills that you think you've come across so far that will be able to help you guys when you're all playing rugby? Uh, yeah, a little bit of war paint will help in rugby. Uh, no, I don't think so. Not, not yet. Uh, I think obviously the fitness side of things that we did before is obviously uh, applicable, but I'm sure there'll be uh, many more things to come that will. It takes them out of their comfort zone, makes it uncomfortable. Um, Test them, test their character, uh, gives them some fun activities to do as well and, and uh, lets you appreciate you know, what these army boys do day in, day out as well to uh, protect the country. I've done a few of these as a player myself and um, you know, fantastic memories with, with your mates out, out in the field, sleeping outside and uh, it, it, they, are, they are quality sessions, that's why we really wanted to come down here and appreciate the army putting it on for us. So yeah, there's going to be some dirty, tired human beings by the end of it hopefully. As the sun set on day one, we left the Broncos to spend a night on Salisbury Plain. How much the military has influenced them will be played out for all to see in just a few weeks. Ooh.